Hi, I am Marius Rolands, and I just came back from my tailor. There's a small workshop not too far from here, owned by a lady who's been working as a seamstress uh, many years now. Either she was good at her craft, or she benefited from the location, as there are quite a few wealthy houses around here. Or she got plain lucky, I don't know. But business kept going better and better for her every year. Now she's mostly sitting around, <laughs> picking up the occasional phone when customers call, but that's just about it. She has six other women working for her at the moment, and her workshop is packed with customers' clothes. For all I know, <laughs> she could even be on the lookout at the moment for a new hire. Everybody in the neighborhood trusts her with her clothes. Several of my relatives have uh, used her services and so have I. But not this time. I was on vacation not too long ago during which I bought an 800 euro suit, which by my humble standards <laughs> is not cheap. Maybe not the most expensive, but certainly not cheap either. Unfortunately, because my vacation was about to end when I made the purchase, Tommy Hilfiger's own tailor informed me that uh, they didn't have enough time to adjust the suit to my body type. Uh, but because I really liked the suit, I bought it anyway, thinking that I would have someone adjust it uh, for me back home. The question was, who would I trust for this kind of work? 800 euros is a lot <laughs> to waste without getting anything in return. And the more adjustments you make on a suit, the more the chances for a mistake that cannot be fixed to be made. The lady who owns the workshop used to be good at this kind of stuff. But now she's not working anymore. She's got, she's got others working for her. And those others may be more or less experienced than her. Those others may be more or less interested in their work than her. Those others may be more or less experienced in similar kind of work than her. Point is, I don't know. <laughs> and I'm certainly not too fond of the idea of having a random, disinterested, and probably low salary employee learning a craft <laughs> on my suit. And so I went to someone who does this for a living. The tailor I visited has made countless suits. He does everything on his own. And with the amount of work that he has, he could easily hire one or two employees had he wanted to. But he doesn't because he cares too much about the end result. He works slower and I paid almost double of what I would have otherwise paid. But that extra is worth it to me because I too care about the end result. And here's the thing. I understand that when it comes to rendering of services, talent doesn't scale. There are only very specific aspects of a service where you can scale talent. And it is for this reason that I trust boutique firms more than I trust large companies. Because when I deal with a boutique firm, I deal directly with the talent behind the business. Because when I deal with a boutique firm, I understand that I'm an important part of this business. Because I understand that there's only so much time that this specific talent can dedicate to servicing their clients. And so I'm an, I understand that I'm an important part of this business. On the other hand, when I assign a project to a large company, be it to fix my suit, to, to make adjustments to my suit, or whatever other it, is, it may be, I feel as if I'm tossing a coin hoping that my project will land on an employee that will at least care enough <laughs> to provide an adequate level of service. 
And that, uh, that agony of not knowing what I'll end up getting is not worth the few euros that I would have otherwise saved. And so to cut a long story short, next time you lose your sleep over something, remember my advice. Peace of mind is worth a lot of money.